Welcome back. Today we delve into a pressing issue that has been making waves across Canada. Allegations of censorship and manipulation by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government. I'm Quick Politics, and if you find this content engaging, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as your support truly helps the channel grow. Now, let's delve into the heart of the matter. Over the past few months, leaked documents have revealed concerning behavior within Trudeau's administration regarding election interference, casting doubt on the integrity of our democracy. A recent inquiry into foreign interference during the 2019 federal election has brought to light troubling actions by Trudeau's government. Testimonies indicate that Trudeau's office actively worked to suppress negative stories about him while disregarding misinformation about conservative opponents. Foreign interference is a real challenge uh, everywhere around the world. We know that certain countries and uh, actors uh, are engaged in trying to disrupt and attempts to disrupt uh, our institutions, our businesses, our economy, uh, and our electoral processes. Uh, that's why in 2015 uh, we started to work on uh, protecting our country more from foreign interference. We created oversight bodies that watch both our elections process, uh, that uh, oversee all the work our national security agencies uh, do, uh, and we've continued to give them more and more tools. The ongoing uh, Foreign Interference Commission is an important way of highlighting uh, some of the challenges we face and some of the solutions that we've put forward to keep our democracy safe. And I want to reinforce to everyone that our expert nonpartisan panel looking at the 2019 and 2021 elections confirmed that those elections happened in a way uh, where the integrity held, where the outcome was decided by Canadians. Uh, obviously, this uh, commission is ongoing, uh, and I look forward to being part of it. I will be testifying before the commission uh, next week. Uh, this is an important way of uh, answering these questions, of engaging with this uh, in the right forum. Allegations have surfaced suggesting that Prime Minister Trudeau's government has been exerting pressure on social media platforms like Facebook to censor reports that might pose a political threat to him. Facebook reportedly acceded to requests from Trudeau's office to take down content deemed detrimental to his image, prompting concerns about the platform's involvement in political censorship. Interestingly, this situation bears a resemblance to the suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop story in the U.S. These allegations paint a troubling picture of a government prioritizing the protection of its own image over the principles of democracy and free speech. Citizens across Canada are expressing their concerns, calling for transparency and accountability from our elected officials. But the controversy doesn't end there. There are reports indicating that Trudeau's government might have offered incentives or financial support to Chinese social media platforms such as WeChat to disseminate anti-conservative propaganda while failing to address the issue. Aaron O'Toole went as far as claiming that the government's alleged incentives for WeChat to spread anti-conservative messages cost the Conservative Party nine seats in government. When confronted with these allegations, Trudeau chose to deflect blame and accused O'Toole instead. I can understand where uh, someone who lost an election is trying to look for reasons uh, other than themselves why they might have lost an election. The reality is we put in place uh, a panel formed by top uh, independent public service servants, uh, a task force uh, staffed by uh, security officials uh, throughout our, uh, our intelligence and security services to ensure the integrity of the 2019-2021 elections. And the conclusion of all those mechanisms is unequivocally amidst this. Former Conservative MP Kenny Chu highlighted that the government left the door open to Chinese language misinformation during the 2021 election. Documents related to foreign interference indicated that the government was aware of an anti-conservative campaign. Chu emphasized that the government should have disclosed this information to the public during that period. Not have run for office because as an immigrant, it's already very challenging to, to build a life here in Canada. To, to go into public service, it's, it's even more challenging. You know, when I became a um, scuba trustee, I intentionally severed my ties with um, my relatives in China. 
with the understanding that I will put them in, in danger. Uh, and, you know, in, in 2021, unfortunately, it seems like my worry has come true. But then I thought I would be protected by my country. And, and uh, I was deeply troubled, disappointed that uh, I was exposed. And the government doesn't seem to care. And now that through the commission, I've learned that uh, they, they, they've known all about it. It's almost like I was drowning and they are watching. Um, and the best they could do, by the way, is to let me know that I'm drowning. <laughs> I, I don't need their notification. I need their help. And, and so that's the overall disappointment mixing with the emotion of anger uh, that I have. You know, if they give me a chance because I read the language, I speak the language, uh, I would be very effective in countering these disinformation. In light of these revelations, Canadians are calling for strict protections against partisan censorship and election rigging, emphasizing the importance of transparency and free speech in a democracy. As Canadians, it's imperative that we hold our leaders accountable and demand transparency in our democratic processes. What are your thoughts on these allegations? Do you believe Trudeau's actions are undermining democracy in Canada? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us. If you appreciate content that delves into critical issues, consider subscribing for more insightful updates. Stay informed, and until next time, I'm Quick Politics, signing off.